talk about how it's you know wrong at everything and so it was a lot of great publicity <laughs> you do actually want that publicity mm -hmm. and uh i remember being from one time in the uh, the softball team that i played on the bar that they were in was that for softball game some guy recognized me and i got a warning from the bartender this guy wanted to know who you know which one of you if you were here and he's really ticked off he was drunk right and i just then he reminded me you gary mackmer i said yeah and he goes i want to have a word with you and i said okay just in a minute I walked right out mm -hmm. and they said good he said he was furious after you left so those things it's not the same as stalking with antifa i want to make that clear when you're in the business and if you're going to be in a bar where alcohol is served and you go in, and I'm not accusing her of doing anything, I'm just saying, if you go into a bar, and it's late at night, and you tell people what you do in this heated environment, expect that to happen. Well, when they put their reporters in uh, the protest, uh, it was the, uh, the day that the uh, confirmation vote came down for Brett Kavanaugh. The reporter out there on the uh, steps at the Supreme Court did not have a mic flag that said Fox News. They often will not put right. a Fox News mic flag with the report. I don't know if the camera, uh, they, they used to, the cameras used to say, you know, the, the news organization on the site. I don't know if anyone does that. I actually don't. I have friends who are photos. I've just never asked. But the mic flag is not there for reason. They may be, you know, the reporters may be recognized, but you don't want to point it out in that scenario because you know what's going to happen. That case happened to actually happen to them. That's how they got to that, making that decision. So, to <laughs> walk into a bar and just, uh, well, I mean, uh, the people were wearing, and, and it, it is ridiculous, people wearing Make America Great Again caps or t-shirts. And then all of a sudden, they're shamed by, in, in one case, the restaurant employees, mm -hmm. which is just hideous behavior. Uh, I, I don't know how you can be proud of that, but that's that's yeah. the law. And, and I'm not again. I'm not saying it's right for anybody to, to to do that. I'm just saying that that is going into a box when you're somebody that's been happening i've been this is my 30th year at talk radio it's been happening from the very very beginning of, of me and talk radio if you walk into a bar and people know who you are people are drinking i remember one time being in a bar and this was after the 2000 election and i was in a discussion with uh again one of my golfers and i was telling him how there is no right as an individual to vote for the president because there is. I mean, it's, it's the states have chosen to do it, but the legislature could choose, you know, who the state wanted for president. There is there is a right to vote, but there is no right to vote for the president. I was making that technical legal argument. The guy, his buddy next to him, got furious at me and wanted to got a hand to hold him back and started wanted to swing at me because I was saying that there was no right to vote. And he was wow. That was wild. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's going to happen to you. Those are things that are going to happen if you're in a place where alcohol is served, and it happened even before. It may happen more often now. For me, it happens much frequently. But I don't, <laughs> I don't go out anymore. <laughs> I hardly ever go out. So when you hardly ever go out, it's not going to happen as many times. Uh, but you keep a pretty low profile, and you understand that walk into a special strange place where you don't know people and you start talking to people and telling them who you are, you don't know who you're talking to. Yeah. And when people are drinking, yeah, that, that's something. I'm not saying that, uh, my point is that's not the point of it. It's not the same that then people are talking to you. Right. And it's not the same as employees who happen to recognize you or owners taking you out of their restaurant. My thing is, there's a greater expectation when people are being served a drug. Yes, and so. That they may act in a way that they would not act if they weren't under, you know, under that drug. Now, it could have just been a great deliverer who was completely sober, sober, which really at times there is no difference between that and somebody who might not act that way if they were drunk. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, unless it's a problem. 
that we did. Some of the crazy Democrats are crazy. Silver, of course. Yeah, it all falls under this new MO of the left, uh, where they believe it's okay. I, I think that's what's different. It's, it's, it's accepted in the, in the official way. It's promoted, yes. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. Yes, it is promoted in the official way. Uh, better face, right. Uh, every chance, yes, yes. I will agree with that, you know? So, um, it, I'm not going to pull a Don Lemon here and say it comes with the territory, but you should certainly be aware of it, and you should be aware of your surroundings at all times. You know, that's something that I've practiced just as, you know, just going about my business day to day, regardless of political bent or anything else. I'm always aware of my surroundings and who I'm talking.